This video will go over the steps to register a connected battery system in the Centroid Viewer application. Before opening Centroid Viewer, ensure that the Centroid SNET2 service is running per the instructions in part two of this video series. The first step is to launch the Centroid Viewer app. The main menu will be displayed with three areas to view. Select System Management. This section is where the connectivity to the battery monitoring systems installed in the field is managed. The local server tree will list all of the sites and systems registered in the software. When systems are registered, they will appear under the list of registered devices, and systems which are not registered in the software but are communicating show up under the list of unregistered devices. The systems can be identified by their IP address. Before we register the system, we want to create the site that the system will be located under. To do this, right-click Local Server and select New Site. You can think of the site as the physical location the battery bank is located. Type the name of the site and click Save. You can now expand the Local Server tree to see the newly added site. Now with the site created, click the Register String button to begin adding the system. First, select the type of battery monitoring system being added. In this example, we will be adding an IPQMS. Check to ensure that the IP is correct. Set the number of units. For the IPQMS, this represents the number of relaying units. For the BDS, this will always be set to zero. And for the BQMS, this represents the number of modules per system. In our example, we are using one relaying unit for the IPQMS, so we will set this number to 1. The measuring interval refers to how often the resistance measurement is taken in minutes. We recommend 720 minutes, which is twice per day. On the next screen, we will first enter the name of the battery bank. Our bank is called IPQMS 48 volt. Next, select the site, which is Eagle Eye Battery Room. Then enter the number of jars or cells that this battery monitoring system is monitoring. In our case, it's 24 cells. Below we can enter various information regarding the batteries being monitored by this system. This information can be entered now or later if desired. For this example, we will leave all these fields blank with the intention of filling them in later. This next screen will only appear if you are using an IPQMS. The purpose of this screen is to confirm how many cells each relaying unit is monitoring. In our case, we have one relaying unit and it's monitoring 24 cells. Cells here are referred to as channels and each relaying unit would be represented by one row. In our case, since there's only one relaying unit, there's only one row. After confirming the number of cells per relaying unit, hit next. The final screen allows you to enter the alarm information, which can also be edited at another time. For this video, we will simply hit finish. The battery bank will now be registered under the list of registered devices and will also show up under the Eagle Eye Battery Room site. Finally, now would be a good time to click the setting button and select the appropriate temperature unit. After hitting save, the program will restart.